It's about making the choices towards leaning in towards women candidates, plain and simple. Help move the United States up from rank 14th in the world, which is unacceptable, to something more like first. I'd urge everyone to take part in the next Breakfast of Corporate Champions, a worthwhile and powerful gathering no one will want to miss. Accenture has long been a champion of inclusion and diversity, and specifically gender balance at every level of our organization, including our board of directors. We know from our business and from our work with clients around the world that when companies bring together people of different genders, races, cultures, and perspectives, we are smarter, more creative, more innovative, and more relevant. And I am very proud that Accenture is among the corporate champions to be honored by the Women's Forum of New York for our mutual commitment to making a difference. Indeed, there is no shortage of qualified women for both positions. The pipeline is there. It's up to each of us to take action. This is more than a CEO priority for me. It is personal. I am surrounded by exceptional women on Accenture's board of directors, as well as my own leadership team, who expect and challenge me to bring more visibility to gender balance. My pledge is to continue driving this agenda at Accenture and to consistently evaluate and accelerate opportunities to bring more women into top leadership roles. And we are working hard to achieve our new goal to grow our percentage of women to 50% by 2025. The Women's Forum of New York salutes Pierre Nartern and Accenture as a corporate champion for advancing women on corporate boards and inspiring other companies. Join us in New York this November for the 2017 Breakfast of Corporate Champions, where we honor companies who are making it happen and hear leading CEOs share why gender balance in the boardroom is just smart business.